Hello. Um, I was browsing Reddit the other day, uh, the other day, two months ago, and uh, I came just to the 3D printing forum and uh, came across a post uh, where some guy posted uh, th what this thing on this thing here, which is uh, Simpson Television, and I uh, looked at it and I, you know it's the sort of thing that I'm interested in, so I was uh, interested straight away, um, but. Uh, it was surprising to see that how how big the the post blew up. You know, he got a hundred and twenty thousand likes and uh, thousand probably thousands of awards. People went absolutely bonkers, and uh, they call it the Reddit effect. Anyway, he did a let me just just roll the video. He did a he did a very comprehensive build guide about a week later, and. Um, the Reddit effect came into play in the fact that he was uh, this used a Raspberry Pi Zero and uh, a certain 2.8 inch screen, and uh, they just sold out. <laughs> I I I was in there early because I you know I knew I wanted to make at least one. I, I bought the components for two, and uh, the, the the screen manufacturers sold out, and then. I think semi disappeared and uh, it's very difficult to get there he is it's very difficult to get um pi zeros at the moment pi zero w's um anyway i think it because of the um shortages in uh electronics so anyway you can't make the project but i bought all the components before they went out of stock yeah i'm that guy i'm that guy that's uh Anyway, I didn't buy like 10, I bought one, uh, two rather. So these, these are the screens, uh, the 2.8 inch screen, and you can solder the Pi directly onto the back of it. Face, which is, yeah, that's the easy bit. The, the, the hardest bit of the project, I, I've sort of made one already, uh, which is a friend at work. She wanted Julie Andrews, so it's called it the Andrews TV. And uh, I, I didn't want to do, you know, I didn't want to do the, this exact same thing. Oops. I didn't really want to do um, a Simpson TV because I'm not really a huge fan of Simpsons particularly. I mean, I used to, I watched it when it first came out 20 years ago and uh, it was first few seasons but I mean I, I can't I'm, I'm amazed it's still going but I'm, anyway I'm not a huge Simpson fan but uh, I like retro stuff so I, I figured uh, I could probably adapt it for my um, to my taste um, certain things I didn't really like about it was the uh, well it's, it's not battery powered so you've got he, his version you've got to uh, have it plugged in the whole time which is uh nah not having that and also he's using a um his on off button is actually the backlight uh it's the backlight control which uh, which kind of works if it is plugged in directly to the mains or the uh, uh, five volt uh, supply but if you're using a battery that doesn't work you'd either have to add an extra switch or anyway what i did is i ditch that and the on off switch is the power cuts the power um <laughs> can't really show you uh, i i'm going to show you what what i've done so far and then obviously a little bit later the finished the finished one um yeah i mean i wanted to add a couple of things to the project because uh you know you make it your own don't you um so one thing i wanted to add was uh, a sort of bubble screen a sort of fake crt uh cathode ray tube you know effect like obviously uh old tvs wouldn't be a flat piece of fat flat piece of glass so uh, i didn't really know how to vacuum or sort of form ptg sheets uh seen some videos and they they tended to use um vacuum forming which i, I wasn't going to do that but um, so I made a PLA print, but I didn't think that would stand up to the heat gun. So then I created a 
this is like two two weeks of faffing about that created a uh, plaster of Paris mold laid the sheet on got the heat gun on that half expecting that well I sort of half didn't I half didn't expecting that to deform into the shape of the mold you know of course that didn't work <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> so what I decided to, to try was uh, sort of a cookie cutter type affair. Um, so I've got the, this is my mould, as it were. I did, I, you know, I didn't think this stand up to the heat of the heat gun. So, uh, but anyway, it did. So you just lay the thin sheet of clear PETG on the top of that. Sorry, it's a bit out of focus. And then when it's up to a reasonable temperature, you just cookie cut it you, you sort of force the plastic down over the mold and uh, a couple of attempts uh you have to get this really really very very uh, any any imperfections in there will show up in the clear ptg but uh that's that's an early version so that's not really the finished yeah finished but uh, i wanted to add that to the project um that was a couple of weeks of um trial and error um i want to add a, a battery as i said that worked out all right so uh plus the i wanted to add uh, later on when i started messing around with the actual coding of the pie which is uh, I, I found really really difficult to be honest um i added a loading screen as well because uh the one another there's not a Floor. I mean, uh, people expect things to load up really, really quickly these days. You know, you turn your phone on, it's a second, it's there. You turn your computer on, might be five seconds, ten seconds, it's there. It's been a long time, you know, tried different operating systems uh, on the Raspberry Pi and, and sort of tweaks to speed things up. But you just can't, you, well, I just couldn't get anything to work. I, I got the uh, speed down a little bit or speed it up a little bit, but... Uh, it's 45 seconds to boot up, which is why the original um, chap, uh, Bubba447, has used the backlight on and off. Right, so he boots the thing up and then he sort of pretends that he's turning it on by turning the backlight on. Uh, but I didn't like that. I mean, I just, uh, well, it ain't going to work for me. So, um, yeah, one of the slight drawbacks is the very, very long loading times. Once it's loaded, it works fine. But anyway, I shall... Uh, cut to the i'm not going to do i'm not going to build one on the on camera i don't i don't, it's just not that's not my thing i'm sorry i just can't solve with the solder with the camera there because i feel like i've got to do you know you know what I, mean? I don't need the pressure <laughs> so i don't know this is uh this is kind of ready the sd card it's got everything on there. I'm happy with it. Um, so what I can show you at this stage is, uh, is is kind of this thing actually does work on its own. Just stick a bit of power in it. Obviously, doesn't have a sound or anything. Um, so this is uh, well, you're probably going to have this the wrong way up. You get it. This is the incredibly long boot up process sorry uh, just get out of my face so we're probably on about 20 seconds already get a blue bit you get a black bit which is uh not ideal but you get about 10 seconds of black then you go into a loading screen which is the adamatic Please stand by. I mean, I wish I could have got that thing to boot at the, you know, right at the beginning, and then um, and then straight into some adverts. So mine is all about old adverts, old British adverts. Uh, this is John Smith, eighties or nineties or something. As uh, adverts are quite nice because they're thirty seconds, generally all thirty seconds to a minute. Um, so you just sort of bang the thing on, watch three or four adverts, which it picks randomly, and then uh, turn it off. <laughs> uh, that looks like... <clears throat> that looks like a Turkish delight. Uh, 
full of Eastern promise. Some of these adverts are, are very dated in the fact that they contain things that would trigger pretty much anybody these days, you know, a bit of racism, <laughs> uh, cultural appropriation and all that jazz, sexism, <laughs> just everything's in there. Uh, sorry, I keep wobbling that about. I don't think there was anything particularly wrong with the Turkish Delight advert, really. It was just... Uh... Yeah, I don't think he's... Is he... Well, it is a white guy dressed up as a... I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Even that one probably wouldn't pass these days. <laughs> anyway. We could sit here all day. Ah, 501... 501 jeans with a very, very young Brad Pitt in there. Great music on those. Anyway, so that's what this thing's going to do. Uh, just really need to solder it up, which is actually... <laughs> which is uh, one of the easiest parts, is um, putting it together. Is like, I know people do have problems with soldering, but for me, that, that bit is a joy. <laughs> it's the coding. It's the coding I can't do. Anyway, 